Hi everybody, Andy here from Guru Drums. You probably can't see me, but hopefully you can hear me. I'm just gonna run through the basic machining steps for the Guru Timpanic Edge. And uh, today we're using this beautiful um, American Black Walnut segmented shell. So here goes, here's the first cut. There we go, hopefully you're getting that. You could just about see the beginning of the first part of the radius that we're cutting just here. I hope you're catching this. On to the next cut. With some smaller toms too. Just the first cut, so we're roughing this through quite quickly. Okay, now this is the second cut, and we're taking it the depth right to the point whereby the edge of the radius cutter is just kissing the top of the shell. So, this is cut number two. Okay, hopefully you can see now that we've got the full radius in and we're just kissing a witness line across the end of the shell here. So actually we're doing this edge on some nice tour series Zebrano shells as well and it may, the, the edge form might be a little bit more apparent because of the grain figuring so I'll show you one of these as well. This is the second cut on a Zebrano. Again, hopefully you can see we've gone to full radius and we're just, the edge of the cutter is just kissing the very top of the shell on this second cut. Okay, now it's time for cut number three. This time we've raised the cutter up so that the edge of the cutter goes into the shell by around about two millimeters, two to 2.5 millimeter. With the cut that we do, we want to end up with a lip between 1.5 and two millimeters. So, we cut about a further half a millimetre depth into the shell to allow for sanding on the, on the level plate later to take that dimension down to get the bearing edge absolutely level. So here's cut number three. Now you take that one nice and steady because it is the finishing cut, although it's going to be sanded later, you want it to be as good as you can get it on the third and final pass. Hopefully now you can see the full radius and how much the edge of the cutter has gone into the shell and that's leaving us the material then to form the top peak. Just in case it's visually a little bit clearer, I won't know until the video comes out, uh, here is the same stage of finishing on a Sobrano edge. Okay, now we've got the outer form done. We're going to machine a 45 on the inside and we're gonna bring that to within two to 2.5 millimeters of the peak. Uh, probably take two or three cuts to do that. So, and I've got 20 shells, so I'll get on with it.
Okay, there we go. Hopefully you can see that. This is the, uh, we've finished the machining part anyhow, the tympanic bearing edge. About three or four passes to get the 45 on the inside. Uh, left about, uh, just around about two millimeters in lip. And the rest of the work now, in fact the majority of the work is in the hand finishing. So we'll just take that edge off there, create a small radius to the top of this lip. And then it's essentially going through the sanding grades and uh, buffing up a couple of coats of wax, uh, all of which, of course, is done on the uh, on the level sanding plate. Uh, so there you go, the machining steps for a tympanic bearing edge. Hope that was useful. Take care. Bye bye.